Hey guys, how are we all doing? Uh, this is just going to be a wee bit of a training kind of update, just a bit of a vlog type thing. Uh, with it being deload week, I don't have much training footage. The training footage I do has is isn't really worth watching. It's just basic light loading, um, and not a lot of really not a lot of volume either. Just kind of basic deload basically. Uh, so what I wanted to really talk about is just about how my training is going. Um, looking at the, I use the app called Big Lifts Two. Uh, the app is, is pretty good at tracking your one rep max and estimations and, and things like that and it gives you a really good idea of kind of the progress that you're making and even though you're not doing one rep max lifts or doubles and things like that it, it gives you an idea of what you're doing so it's quite good to follow I'll put a wee picture up on the screen just now of the graph and, and how my, my program is actually going and there is good progress I am making as, as I mentioned in the previous video my, my squats they're here or there um, but they're coming on okay. I, I'm, I'm sure if I keep working on them, they'll get, they'll get where we want them to be. Um, but my deadlift and my bench are ever so slightly, just every week, just progressing that wee bit, which is what we're after. Um, so I wanted to also talk about some of the equipment I've just recently purchased over the last maybe month or two. Um, and what I'll do is in a future video, I'll do a wee bit of a review, as such, to let you know how how I feel as if they work and things like that. Not so much a review of the actual product because you'll probably find loads of them out there, but just to let you know how, they, how I kind of, how what my take is on them. Uh, so one of the first things, the biggest thing that you'll probably know of is my Addy Power shoes. Um, they've helped a lot. Um, I've also managed to pick up a slingshot by uh, Mark Bell and also a hip circle from Mark Bell. So I'll see how they go in the coming months. So I want to have a really good use of them, or maybe over the next maybe sorry couple of weeks, um, before I make any video and give my opinion on it. Because I've only really had uh, so far about two or three shots of each of my shoes, my hip circle and my, and my, my uh, slingshot. So I'll have a good couple of more weeks at them, and then I'll make a video just to let you know how I got on with them. Um, shoulder update. Um, shoulders. As I say in my last video, it's, it's fine when it comes to benching and everything else, just overhead pressing I can't do. still get the pain when I push the weight off my chest. To get the weight above my head is painful and then after that it seems to be fine. But um, So as I say, for the foreseeable future, just going to be laying off overhead press, just not going to bother doing it until it heals up. It's probably just a bit of tendonitis or something like that in my shoulder. Uh, that's what the physio seems to think anyway, nothing major, uh, just something that will heal itself with rest. Uh, other than that, we're moving into next week, uh, which will be my uh, cycle four, no cycle three, sorry, um, cycle three week one, um, and um, this will be like my last kind of training block before my powerlifting meet on the 19th of April. Uh, so looking forward to it, should be good. Hopefully, I'll just get an extra few kilo on each lift, um, and then that will take me up to my meet, and hopefully, I'll be able to get my one rep maxes, which are estimated for me. Um, so so far, so good. Um, diet's going okay, I've stalled around about 91 kilo um, but I haven't really done as much cardio as what I would have maybe wanted to to try and bring that down a wee bit um, as I say I'm not crazy dieting or anything like that. I'm really just sticking to more, to more what, my, what I should be eating to maintain my body weight and then just using cardio to bring it down uh, just light general cardio because uh, I don't really maybe after the meet I'll then actually try and go on a proper diet where I'll cut my calories down and things like that but I haven't really wanted to do that because I don't really want to waste um, my meat prep in any way or, or I know I probably won't lose strength because it's excess fat I've got anyway um, but after the meet I'll go on a wee bit of a diet and see if I can cut the weight a wee bit quicker um, but just now what I'll do is I'll just up my cardio for the last couple of weeks um, up to the meet and then see if I can get maybe below that 90 kilo I'd, I'd like to go into the meet and run about 88 kilo if I could that would be brilliant um, if not, no big deal. Um, so, as I say, no much training for you to show you this week, guys. So, just a bit of an update, just to let you know how I'm getting on and let you know thing, the new things I've got to play with. Um, probably bring out another video about those things in uh, about two or three weeks. Um, and then, obviously, everything else from here on now will just be the run up to my meet. Uh, so, training footage and then the actual day itself. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.